A new study is confirming what kids have been saying for years. Video games can be good for you, at least the ones that get you off the couch. They're called Xer games. And to give us more insight into the study, we're joined via Skype by CBC's medical specialist, Dr. Carl Cabasel. So I think there's some grandkids that could be watching that are very happy to hear that their grandparents should be out there playing those Wii video games with them. Uh, but let's talk a little bit about uh, the relationship between extra games and, and improving cognitive functions in, in seniors. It, you know, on the surface, it doesn't really make any sense, but how does that work? Well, I, I, it's interesting. We've known for some time that exercise is good for the brain. It helps to uh, improve circulation. Uh, and uh, on the macro scale, it actually helps people to hold on to their cognitive function, their, their complex function, decision-making, memory, concentration, things like that. We also know that when you stimulate the brain and, and sort of exercise some of those cognitive functions, that's also good for the brain. So in the case of these video games, you're sort of looking at a screen. It's a three-dimensional world that you're trying to keep up with, make adjustments to, so you're really using your brain. But what was really interesting in this study is that when you put those two things together, exercise and brain stimulation using 3D technology, you actually get or they actually got a greater effect, a more protective effect than was expected from either of those two things by themselves. So this is interesting because you are, we are talking specifically about these extra games where you actually have to move your arms around, you've got to bowl, you've got to play tennis or simulate playing tennis. How long do seniors have to play these games in order to see the benefits of them? Hmm. Well, that's an interesting question. Uh, we know that um, Health Canada recommends a half hour a day of exercise for pretty much for everybody. But what the research tells us is that the more exercise you do as a senior, the more benefit you seem to get from uh, for your brain. So this is, uh, of course, just one study where they were doing a very specific game um, on the recumbent bicycle. But on the screen, the video game was sort of doing a, a race with somebody else. So um, it's not clear things like Wii and, and, and other games, how much of that would benefit. And, and I think this is early research, but it's certainly encouraging. And so are you saying at this point, it's just not clear what types of games seniors should play? Uh, I think that's right. I think that um, in the study, they were able to look at one specific scenario. Um, so it's not clear, you know, whether you play uh, a video game where you're bowling versus playing tennis versus racing on a bike, which one would be the best. But what we do know is that, uh, you know, we don't necessarily say that seniors should go out and get these games, but they should be stimulating their brains and they should be exercising. And what this study suggests is that doing those two things together may give you the most bang for your buck. But I bet you you're going to say, do the traditional thing, go out for a walk, the, the old way of actually getting some exercise, that in the end is the best way, right? Absolutely, and make sure you check with your doctor to make sure that you can tolerate exercise because you don't want to overexert yourself and get hurt. All right, Dr. Carl Cavasel, thank you very much. Thank you.